guys, how's everyone doing? It's your girl Christabel back with another episode of Cocktails with Christabel. Um, I'm really excited about my guest today. She's a female UK rapper. She, you know, became viral for her infamous freestyle. Give it up for your girl, OG Nikki. Hey girl, how are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. That's good. How's your journey here? Uh, not too bad, not too bad. Really. Mm. Are you enjoying the sun? I am indeed. Yeah. Okay, do you enjoy drinking cocktails? I do, I'm partial to a cocktail or two. Okay, okay. so <laughs> today we're going to be making um, citrus tropicana, which is from my own cocktail business called Cocktail Blast. Okay. So this is what we're going to be using, our oranges, our lemons, our lime, um, coconut rum. Okay. We're going to be using citrus twist, going to shake our lovely jugs and we've got our um, little shot glasses here and our okay. ice. So, let's get started, yeah? Okay. So let's get our oranges. <laughs> and then we're gonna slice them. All right then, cool, cool, cool. So let's get started. Oh, by the way, when we finish, we're gonna put them in our jugs. Okay, yeah? okay. All right, cool. So, Nikki. Yes. You was born and raised in Birmingham. I was, yeah. All right, so how was it growing up in, um, up there? Um, I, I don't know, I like it mm. compared to London. Okay. Like. It's a bit slower okay. and smaller, so mm. <laughs> like I know Birmingham, like back of my hand, in every area, every okay. road. So I just I like the familiarity of of Birmingham. And yeah, everyone knows everyone, so yeah, I enjoyed it. Okay, I that's still good. Enjoy it. Yeah. <laughs> that's good that's good so you went to an all-girls school right i did yeah all right so how was young og nikki in school like talk me through um, that phase okay so well i was a size 16 throughout oh, wow. school yeah so okay. I, was quite, I was quite big okay <laughs> and i've always been quite tall mm. so i was kind of like the tallest biggest blackest person oh, okay. in my school um, so that was school life for me. Okay. Um, my school was predominantly white. Mm. Um, so it's kind of like, throughout school, I was just a bit lost, I think. Okay. I was very um, frigid, very childish mm. and a bit silly until okay. I left school, really. I just, I just enjoyed school as a kid would. Okay. I think, yeah, I was just a big kid, a big, massive kid. So was you part <laughs> of, like, the popular girls? Um... I was. Yeah. I, I wouldn't. I don't know if it's because I was popular, just because I was big and. <laughs> okay. And yeah. Yeah. I think that's why I was part of the popular crew, to be honest. Okay. Because I do remember being told a few times, like, "Yeah, no one really likes you." Mm. Uh, okay. It's fine. I'm still in the crew. It's okay. <laughs> well, so but after yeah. that, we. Oh, you're still slicing it. All right. Cool. Oh, so yeah, do I have to cut them in half? Yeah, like this. A little, tr but don't put all of okay. it in it. It was gonna be too much. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right, and then after we move on to the lemon and then we move on to the lime. Oh, okay. All right, so cool. Before I fast forward to um, the year of 2011, yeah. I want to talk <laughs> about um, your journey and leading up to it. Yeah. So um, I found out, and I don't know if this is true, but um, I found out that you kind of started rapping due to your friends. Yeah. Like rapping, like demanding. Yeah. Yeah, basically. like rapping and stuff. So tell I, me about that. I was kind of like, part of the man them. I don't think okay. I really turned into a female till I was about 18, So he's 19. a tomboy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, in my original video, it, I appeared to be wearing some girly clothes, but it was really difficult for me. Like, I, I, <laughs> yeah. I was just a tomboy and I just put this skirt on to look like a yeah. girl. <laughs> and it was, I just felt so uncomfortable. Okay. So, um, yeah, that was pretty much, I, I was a boy, basically. Mm. Um, so all my boyfriends used to, not boyfriends, not all my boyfriends, mm, 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 my mm. friends that are boys. Boys, yeah. Like that, <laughs> um, yeah, so yeah. all my mates yeah. were, um, they were into music anyway. One was a producer, okay. two of them rapped. One of them was the, the face behind the production company mm. that filmed my okay. video. So um, yeah, and then we was all sitting there one day and it was like, just be cool if you started rapping on it. Mm. And I was like, mm, I like the cool actually. Like, yeah, yeah let's try it. And um, yeah, there was like, yeah, you could be, just be like Little Kim. That mm. was the idea behind me becoming a rapper anyway. Like, yeah. yeah, it could be this UK Little Kim. I was like, you know what? Yeah, she's hard. So prior to that, you never gave it a thought? To Not become... rapping. Okay. I used to write music. I wrote music from when I was about 
seven. Okay. Um, so I, but I used to write like ballads and stuff like Whitney Houston and oh, wow. Mariah Carey, like, you know, some heartbreak songs like I'd had so a So that's a totally that. different direction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought I was going to be an R&B singer, like, okay. yeah, that was the aim in the beginning. Okay. So, and yeah, then when they said to me, rap, I thought, okay, so I've got the skill because I songwrite anyway. Yeah. It was just a case of writing a different flow and mm. it's a different beat. And yeah, that's kind of where it all started. Okay, okay. So let's talk about the actual moment. So year 2011, yeah. um, Grand Blog, you know, uploads your infamous yeah. freestyle yeah. Um, as part of the, is it Spit Your Game series? Yes. And I'm not going to lie, I was hooked from the first bar. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> um, you know, so... I want to know, like, how did it feel when you dropped those bars? Like, that initial day, like, how did you feel? Um, initially, I didn't actually think anything of it. So, okay. if there's anyone else, like me, I just ripped these bars. Mm. I thought they were quite quirky and cool. Like, I didn't really think as deep into it as everyone okay. else was. And, I mean, the grime, the guy who runs Grime, like, he was like, Yo, I think this is gonna do numbers. Like, yeah. At the time, there was a person on the channel named Socks. He's like a Birmingham artist, and he had the highest amount of numbers, maybe like two hundred thousand or something. Oh wow! And I was looking at that like, no, there's no way yeah. I'm getting past that. Like, who am I? And then, um, so yeah, the video was posted at mm -hmm. night, I think, and the views went up slow. I think within about an hour, there was like seven hundred or something like that. Yeah. So we just thought, just forget it, just go to sleep. Yeah. Went to sleep. Didn't think I really didn't think anything of it until I woke up in the morning and it was on thousands. And it, it like I had Twitter back then and my Twitter was just going crazy and wow. I didn't even know how to cope. And yeah, because you had people from like Jamaica, <laughs> New yeah, York, all kinds like, of places. Yeah, yeah. It was like world wide. People were like, yeah, when you come to Jamaica, I'm thinking I've never been in my life. I'd love to yeah. go, please. Like, let me know. Oh wow. Like, yeah, it was crazy. So like with the lyrics. Was there something that you just made up or is it like actual real life? So, my lyrics were obviously real life inspired. Because okay. I don't think, like, obviously if you're a Virgin Mary, it's going to be very hard to write lyrics like that. Um, well, it might not be hard for some people all the time in their music. Yeah. But, yeah, so my, my, obviously my lyrics were inspired by real life activities. Okay. But they weren't like, people just take everything so literal, yeah. like... I didn't have sex with someone on the side right by the cheese and then flip and it you, on the couch. You by didn't the say la la la. Yeah, no, 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 I've never okay. said la 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 yeah. either. She never said la no, la la, guys. Men ask me that all the time, like, <laughs> can you say la la la? Have yeah. You like, it's just a bar, you oh, know, like, gosh. just sounded cool at the time. Yeah. I, didn't think, I didn't think so deep into it. So, yeah, at the time, it was just a bar. They were just okay. bars. I just thought they were sick bars. Okay, so, okay. Yeah. So, after you finish chopping all of that up, yeah. you add it into your jug. Okay. And then from the jug, we're going to put the ice. Oh, I'm just Yeah. Yeah. We're going to put the ice in the shaker. I've made so much mess. I'm so sorry. Oh, Girl, it's fine. I've juiced it it's all over fine. the table. <laughs> all right. So. so I've got these in. Yep. You don't have to add all of it. Okay. Yeah. Add a bit of everything. And then we're going to put our ice cubes, even though it's melted because it's a hot day. But, yeah. Okay. Put the ice cubes in the shaker. Put the ice cubes in here. Not because I was just gonna tip them in. Oh no, because they're melted. <laughs> well, actually, let me put one more in. Oh. oh, did you pour it? No, nearly. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, so after we do that, we are going to add three shots of our coconut rum. Okay. Yeah? And we're gonna add three shots into our shaker, right? One, two, and three. Oh, here you go. Strong. Yeah. Strong cocktail. <laughs> <laughs> and then after that, we add our citrus One, twist. Two, two, three. Okay. And we fill and it up. Some of this. Yes. Oh, it's so hot. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not the only one. <laughs> it's fine. Was... But yeah. Fill it up, did yeah. you like? But not right up to the top before okay. it spills everywhere. Oh, yeah, yeah, common sense t-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> so, are you ready to shake? Nope, it's fine. So, my <laughs> shake here is shake plus twerk equals shake, 
right? Okay. We're gonna be sitting down and we're gonna shake, Nikki. Okay. All right. Try. So you ready? Yeah. This is close, right? Yeah. yeah. So just hold it tight like this. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Okay. Shake, 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 oh. shake, shake, shake. <laughs> Oh, oh my that's God. good. That's Can good. You do this for a living? Yes. Yeah. And we just open the top, just the top. Oh. Yep. And then we pour it into our jugs, oh. just like that. Cute. Ooh. Yep, I overdid it. <laughs> and then you see the syrup here? Oh, yeah. We just add a little bit, just a drop like that. What is that? Pineapple syrup. Oh, wow. And then we are going to give it a little stir. With our stirrer. And then we're done. We're done, Nikki. Oh, this smells This nice. is citrus tropicana. Okay. And let's give it a little taste. But before we taste it, we need to cheers. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Well, and look me in my eyes, please. Okay. I don't want no bad luck. <laughs> <laughs> cheers, girl. Cheers. <laughs> right, let's taste it. Okay. Amazing. Oh, I like that. Amazing. Well, it's nice and fruit. I like it. Citrus avocado, guys. All right, yeah. so Ooh. you ready to carry on? Yeah. All right, so you, when you realised you was going viral and everything, and like people were, because it wasn't a positive experience. It, no, no, no. Yeah, it wasn't a positive. Well, like, I just put nothing can be negative for me. I'm just mm. one of those people. Can be right, and I'll be like, yeah, mm. have a good day today. Got a week on, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I just, I just try to take a positive. If I mean. It, could, probably could have broke a lot of people because mm. it was a very negative time yeah, for me. It was. Um, and like, I'm my only child as well, so it's not like I even had family in that to yeah. say, oh, that helped me out. And I was just on my own, like, okay, this is hard. But I think I just I made the best out of that situation. So with your self-esteem, like, how did that go? Um, well, before I dropped the freestyle, I think I thought it was the shit. That's why I dropped mm. the freestyle anyway, because I actually genuinely thought, well, I'm shit. Yeah. Write these bars, and everyone's gonna agree that I'm yeah. shit. Did go like that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, yeah, I think I kind of, I had a bit of a down time, mm -hmm. but it wasn't like I didn't feel low in myself. Mm -hmm. I felt low about how everybody felt about me. Yeah. Um, but I didn't actually feel low, and mm -hmm. then I think it took me like maybe a year or two to get over the fact that I didn't actually care mm -hmm. what people thought about me because it did, didn't make a difference. But it was just I think at the time that was a time like. I was kind of like viral before viral, like, I don't know, it was like clout before clout. It's I true, even, it's true, because even, even like, going on. even memes, like people were making memes yeah, about you. Yeah, yeah, I think I was like one of the first memes. Yeah, like, you was, was like, a meme exactly, <laughs> um, Don't Jealous Me, yeah, the comedian, yeah, 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 he I made a, him. yeah, he yeah. made a comedic oh, I video. you all, guys, I remember you yeah. all. <laughs> But even with that, so it didn't break you, like you're strong. Nah, not at all. I mean, I've even laughed at some things because it is funny. It's funny. Yeah. Like, I mean, I might have been the butt of a few jokes, but some of them were kind of funny still. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, that's I'm true. I'm not going to be a hater. Some of you were funny. But yeah, it didn't, it didn't break me. Like they say, if it doesn't break, it makes you stronger. Yeah. And I think like, I'm like an invincible social media person. Like mm -hmm. there's, there's nothing, like the internet is just an imaginary place. Yeah technically anyway so who really cares what anybody mm, on the internet says so when you walk out your house you're probably not going to see any of those people mm -hmm. you've seen like, like probably not even one of them you're going to see so it's like who cares and when you get that mentality the internet nobody on the internet can really trouble you or break yeah. it yeah if it was god now he, but he hasn't said anything i think he still loves me so <laughs> he <does. saying> yes. <laughs> that's good so like when the hype got too much that's when you decided to take a step back yeah kind of just so like a bit. yeah so was it just yeah. because of that or was there um, other reasons well yeah just yeah no it was mainly because of that i would okay. say it was like i was so i was in a relationship as well at the time okay so when i dropped my freestyle i was in a relationship that's what people don't know i think they thought i was just in the street but yeah. no, i'd already left the streets and retired okay. <laughs> retired <laughs> so I, was, I was in a relationship so obviously when all this was going on that was like heavy on my relationship mm. and then it was like, okay, you know what, I'm just going to take a back seat and yeah. maybe not do this for a bit. But then, obviously, it's been like 10, 10 years Yeah, 10 now. years, yeah. I've realised I can't actually take a back seat. I mm -hmm. keep trying and it doesn't matter. Like, I'll go to the shop and I'll be like, aren't you that? Yeah. <laughs> that was the girl. I'll be like, oh, 
yeah, you, you can't hide. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I've realised I can't actually take a back seat. So I have to come come back forward now. Yeah. yeah. So like, you went away and you gave birth to your beautiful baby boy, yes, who's now seven. Yeah, yeah, he just turned seven. So with that, how was it with like the your son's father? Because obviously you're OG Nikki. Yeah, yeah. You've taken a step back. I don't like, know. I think because, like I said, I was in the relationship before. I dropped the freestyle, okay. so he knew I was going to drop the freestyle. Okay. He kind of said, like, um, don't do it. <laughs> like, oh, so he warned you. Yeah, he yeah. said, don't do it. And I said, nah, it's just like, what are you on about? Mm. Just rap, blah, 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 blah. I didn't, every, obviously, everybody else saw the viral potential. Mm-hmm. I just didn't, couldn't imagine it at the time. So, yeah, um, he'd already warned me. And then when the backlash came, he's like, see, told you, mm. told you. So then I just kind of had to admit defeat. It's okay. And then I took my back seat. Mm-hmm. But, um, he never really like i think because he already knew that i was like gonna drop the freestyle mm-hmm. and that he didn't really mind that much i mean if i'd written the freestyle after i'd met him yeah. and took part in activities after i would met him yeah, then it yeah. might have been a big deal but yeah um everything was kind of out in the open like and if everyone can't tell i'm quite an out in the open person so <laughs> yeah, there's not true. like there's not much to hide so okay. um, yeah look at it, it didn't really but it's headache, headache, everything yeah. happens for a reason. Yeah, 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 I believe so, yeah. Definitely. So now that you're coming back into the scene, or you're back in the yeah. scene, because you've done a song with Sneak Bowl, I yeah, believe yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah so um, what should we expect like from um, OG Nikki? Well, I just moved slow, I think, because I'm lazy. But in my defence, <laughs> we've just been in a pandemic. It's true. So I haven't been true. able to do yeah. much. But um, yeah, so I'm working on my EP now. And in my defence, again, mm-hmm. I had my whole EP done. Mm-hmm. And then I just decided... I don't want to drop that EP anymore, oh. so I'm gonna, I'm gonna write a whole new one. Oh, so no. yeah, okay. So um, but it doesn't take me long to write. Like literally a day in studio, I've, I've recorded a tape. Mm-hmm. So um, yeah, I just changed my mind. I was dropping like a drill kind of like hip hop tape, mm-hmm. which I've changed my mind now. I'm take a back seat to like Christmas, mm-hmm. and I'm gonna drop like a bashment kind of. Okay, vibe. so you're going down that route. Yeah, yeah. All yeah. right, cool. Um, so that's that's my next move now. Okay, and then. I've got like a few different things in the pipeline, like mm. um, a documentary, mm-hmm. and there was, I can't remember at the moment, but there was something else that I was like, oh yeah, um, a little like um, clothing label venture. So oh, yeah, wow. So they're, they're the things that I'm branching out into, mm-hmm. um, as well as my music. But I just can't wait to drop my tape, to be honest. I just can't, because everyone's been waiting what, like 10 years. Yeah. So yeah, I yeah. just can't wait to drop my tape. I'm really excited. All right, that's good. So one more question. Yeah. Um, what do you think about the Birmingham scene right now? Now, what's your thoughts about it? Um, I don't think it's like very united. Mm. So we don't really have a Birmingham scene. We have Birmingham rappers that go to London. That's mm-hmm. that's our that's what our scene. I like how you put that. Style. Yeah, it's true. Um, so that's what I'd call our scene. To be honest, mm-hmm. it's not really a scene. Um, we've got some really talented people in Birmingham. Yeah. But they all just leave and go to London. Yeah. As soon as they get, like, the minute they get a little bit of attention, they're, they're just gone. So, mm. um, I do intend to always, like, be Birmingham-based. Yeah. Because I think we need to start bringing our music to our city mm-hmm. instead of, like, it's, we've got the talent. Yeah. You don't need to go to London. Exactly. Stay in Birmingham and perform from the yeah. rooftops or whatever. It's and true. Go until people hear yeah. So, um... I just, I think we've got a lot of talented people in Birmingham. Mm-hmm. I just think we need to stick together a bit more. Like, people in Brum don't even collab with each other. Yeah. Like, what is that about? That's, that's weird. You, you never hear two <laughs> Brum people yeah. on a tune. Like, it's a bit confusing, but yeah. So. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so... Nikki, that's the end of our interview. Oh, okay. Thank you so much for coming on. Honestly, you've been amazing. Oh, it's Thank fine. you so much. I enjoyed it. Um, so yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. You know what to do. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like. Make sure you hit up the comment section. And yeah, um, stay tuned for another episode of Cocktails with Christabel. It's your girl, Christabel, the one and only sweet Blackberry. Peace. <laughs>